Dad, is that you? Don't worry, we're here. It was only a dream. Whoa, tense. Maybe it was just something you ate that gave you bad dreams. I doubt that. We haven't eaten anything but trail mix for six days. Yeah, I second that emotion. One more day of that trail mix and I'm gonna barf my guts out. But tomorrow we'll be at your dad's laboratory. He'll have food, glorious food. Pizza and sandwiches and ice cream and cakes. Unless he's not there. I mean, we don't know he's there. You haven't spoken with him. Not like your pop is picking up his cell. And we've been everywhere. He wasn't at the last three labs. Why would he be there tomorrow? I mean, anything could have happened to him and Ram. we... Huh? Oh. <laughs> Chase, I... I'm so... I, um... No. Like you said, we don't know anything. My dad... He's never been the type to call a lot, or at all. But he almost always let me know where his work was taking him, and that he was okay. This isn't like him. Bren's right, Jen. We don't know what might have happened, for all we know. No, Bren is not right. He's letting his stomach make him even more neurotic than usual. Exactly. Hey! We'll get to the lab tomorrow. Your father will be there, and we'll all have been worried for nothing. Let's get some sleep. supposed to get down there? I don't see any stairs. Hmm. Uh, 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 that was a close one. Nice. Watch that first step. It's a killer. Huh? Look. Um. You think maybe your dad left the door open because he's expecting us? Dad? Dad, are you here? Uh -oh. Dr. Suno? Must be the cleaning lady's day off. Well, electricity is still on. He's not here. Somebody was, and looks like they were searching for something. Maybe we'd better go. This doesn't feel right. Chase! Huh? huh? It's me, John Ace. I don't know if you remember. Of course I remember, Mr. Ace. He used to work with my dad. And he still works with Storm by the look of his uniform. Do you know where my dad is? No, but I wish I did, son. You see, we... I've been looking for him, too. His disappearance was so sudden. But your father, he's a survivor. I'm sure he's all right, wherever he is. Chase, there is one thing that might help us find him. He left something, something for you. For me? It's a biometric safe. 
I had my men do scans of the programming. Whatever's inside is set to detonate in a fireball of 3,000 degrees Celsius, if we even so much as look at it wrong. It's set for your handprint. <sighs> Thank you, Chase Suno. I have been waiting for you. The contents of this safe have been left here for you by your father, Dr. Jeredy Suno. Passcode, for every dark, a light, for every foe, a friend. The new Cortex tablet your dad's company made. Cortex stuff is always the best. Ooh, and it's got holographic projection. Man, I so wanted one of these for Christmas. Easy on the geek explosion there, Bren. <laughs> All right, Sudo. Storm soldiers, move in. This lab is completely surrounded by storm forces. Hand over the core and hand it over now. Trey, this isn't necessary. You did your job, Ace. You got him to open the safe. But this is my op and my rules. The kid hands over the core, or I take it from him by force. Slow down, Trey. Give the boy a chance. He's had his moment. We need that core. If it's the one from Dr. Suno's files, we have to have it. That Monsuno is the linchpin. Surround him. Whatever you do, don't let him spin it out. My dad left this for me. Hands in the air! Hurry up! All right, all right, my hands are up. Please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me! What do you think he meant by, don't let him spin it out? You are something else, Chase Suno. Don't you even think about it, kid! Chase! Take him down! No! Stop him! Ah! Ah! That's not going to work. Just stow it, Ace. Don't tell me what I already know. This is Trey. We've got a rogue core release. Repeat, a rogue core release. I need a lead at this location, now. Find Suno's brat and his little friends and lock them down. Sorry I got you guys into this. I forgive you, as long as you figure a way to get us out of here. I'm working on it, I hope. This is not happening! This is not happening! Monsters don't exist! Monsters don't exist! <laughs> Guys, a way out! Come on! But, Chase... Gas leak! Everybody out now! Man, when I throw a party, I really throw a party. Jay Suno, what have you done? No clue. Release some kind of crazy monster or something. Oh, Crag! What? It's coming this way!
I think we lost him. Um, don't think so. Huh? Chase? If he wants to rip me apart, I don't think there's any way I can stop him. He wanted to give me this. Whoa, tense. He looks tired. On, think he's okay? Well, maybe if Mr. Scaredy Butt here hadn't used your father's core tablet to block the laser round. That is so not true. I didn't block laser rounds with it. I fell on it. Please, you two, play nice. We need to know what's going on. Change is good with that kind of stuff. Let her have it, Bren. <laughs> Well, it's working, but looks like it's all in code. Now you're playing in my litter box. <laughs> Move over. Watch the master. <laughs> I got it working. Well, maybe I did. Hey, it's your pops. Science entry 548-92. Jared Isuno, protocol three. Early exploration into Monsuno Essence as an energy source proved extremely promising. Mining operations under my supervision yielded great quantities of the material. But only after intense research did I realize that the glowing plasma was actually a life form. It was DNA, living essence, and I named it Monsuno. A little vanity, I know, but I just couldn't help myself. I developed a way to give the Monsuno Essence a chance to hyper-evolve. I call it the core. By combining various elements and animal DNA, the core can be spun out, creating a Monsuno that now has a direct connection with his controller. The core is not only the creative platform for the Monsuno, it is also their home and regeneration station. A Monsuno must return to the core to rest and recharge. What does that mean? How do you get him to return? Huh? Did I say something wrong? I wonder... Return! Well, I guess... You just say return. Thank you, Daddy Obvious. Chase, Ginger, I don't mean to sound scared or anything, but what is that? It's another monster! That's far enough, Suno. Now hand over the core and you and your friends won't get hurt. No, I don't think so. You, you're gonna have to take it from me. Fine by me, punk. My father left this for me. Your father worked for Storm. We own his company, Cortec, and everything he ever created. Now hand it over. Trey, listen, let me talk to the boy. I can reason. We're finished talking. Elite! Take him! You can't attack an unarmed kid. He's armed. <sighs> Chase, you need to defend yourself. Use the Monsuno. Are you crazy, Ace? Spin it! Spin the core!
you go, Lock. Huh? What? What's this? Lock, look out! Above you! What should I do now? Oh, Craig, no! I have to help him some way, but how can I? Come on, get up! Get him! Way to go! Now, huh? What's this? Huh? This nap time? Get on your feet and retrieve those kids! We need full roadblocks and checkpoints set within the hour! Come on, let's go move it! Don't let them escape! And you, come with me! Commandant Marshal Charlemagne, it's Commander Trey reporting in. Jared Isuno's son opened the safe, but he managed to spin the Monsuno into existence. We lost them in the woods. Yes, I was watching. Was it the one? Was it the linchpin? I'm not sure, ma'am. We'll have to run some tests, but it certainly seems like it could be. Commander Ace, I'm very disappointed in you. Your actions are not consistent with your training. I guess I just thought the boy deserved a fighting chance, ma'am. Which side are you on, Ace? I like to think I'm on the right side. We are the right side. John, there's a war coming, and it's going to be bad. Storm is all that stands between the survival of humanity and utter chaos. You know Jardy Suno's work better than anyone, either you with us, or the enemy. The enemy we're talking about here is Jardy's son. No, not anymore. Now he is a rogue Monsuno controller and an enemy of the state. He's a serious threat. He must surrender or be eliminated. <laughs> Well, I think we lost him, but it does help having our very own massive and extremely furry transportation. Easy for you to say. You didn't have to eat Monsuno armpit for the entire ride. I mean, that's not a taste I'll be getting out of my mouth anytime soon. Yuck. It's not Locke's fault. He was just trying to help. Locke? Locke? Uh, yeah, that's his name. Well, I mean, it is now. It's what my father said, the passcode on the safe. It was something of a poem he used to say. For every dark, a light. For every foe, a friend. For every question, an answer. For every key, a lock. I don't get it. <laughs> Big surprise there. Thank you, Locke. For everything. Better let you get some rest, Locke. Into the core! Return! Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. 